This is Vegeta 8259, and this is part two of the Gundam 2.0 mechanical clear version review. And I figured I'd start off part two with a comparison to the original Gundam 2.0 kit, just to give you an idea what they would look like side by side. And uh, these aren't the the actual colors that the Gundam 2.0 uh, 2.0 kit will come in because I painted this kit but it's pretty close to the original so that just gives you a uh, idea of kinda what's going on uh, color wise anyway uh, one thing I forgot to mention in part one is that also like the perfect grade this little red curl that's clear here but it's supposed to be red uh, crotch piece can push in and you've got the little exhaust vent down there for the atmospheric re-entry. Uh, it, it holds fine on the regular 2.0 but it's kind of loose on this version probably because of the uh, clear plastic. Anyway, uh, as far as accessories go, RX-78's obviously got his shield and mostly clear plastic. The uh, handles and pegs and stuff are in silver and to connect it you just open up his hand slide the handle in there and then there's a little hole on the back of his forearm that the peg plugs into and then you just wrap his hand around the handle and there you go now also of course you can take this off and you can connect it to the RX-78's backpack, like so. And that little peg in there is on a little pivot point so it can rotate in 360 degrees. Next up would be the RX-78's beam rifle, which is completely clear, which I thought was kind of nice because I think, uh, yeah, most of his accessories, with the exception of the shield and his little missile launcher, are uh, completely clear, so they just look really cool, in my opinion. Anyway, uh, I was going to try and pull this out, but it doesn't seem to want to go. There we go. You can take this off and see some of the little mechanical details inside the beam rifle. And you can put that back on. And it's got a handle that uh, goes back and forth. <coughs> Excuse me, I had to sneeze. <clears throat> anyway, it's got a hole in the handle, peg in the hand. Just put the index finger through the trigger hole, and it holds it pretty nicely. And also, you've got this little accessory for the uh, beam rifle. This little uh, missile launcher. Actually, it's uh, Super Napalm, I believe, is what they called it in the show. Uh, I put the little gray, not gray, uh, gunmetal missiles in here. But, with this kit, you do also have the option of having clear missiles. So, <clears throat> whichever one you want to use uh, should be fine. But, to connect that, all you have to do is pop the barrel off snap the barrel up on top of the missile launcher and then just slide it back on and there you go next up uh, let's see let's do the hyper bazooka pretty much uh, the same as every other master grade hyper bazooka these things don't change much from kit to kit although the handle uh, does kind of rock back and forth to allow them the RX-70 had to hold it better. And uh, it's got a little peg here that flips out. And you can connect that to actually several places. You could connect it to the RX-70 its back skirt or you could connect it to the back of the backpack. Or also uh, in this kit and on the 
one year war version you could connect it to the back side of the shield like so I forgot to mention you can also do that with the beam rifle it's also got a peg somewhere there it is it's kinda hard to see since it's all clear plastic you can also do that on the beam rifle and connect it in the same way to the back of the shield or the back skirts or the backpack uh, now don't ask me how he's ever gonna hold his shield like this but uh, if you can figure it out then you can have him yeah not really sure why you would ever want to display it like that but you do have that option next up would be the Gundam hammer which the little spiky bowl on the end is all clear they give you the same gray chain though that comes with the uh, original 2.0 and of course the end a little handle is clear as well and it's got a hole in the handle for the peg that is on rx 78s hand then we've got the beam sabers which come out and instead of pink beams you actually get clear beams for the beam sabers two of them in fact and I thought that was really 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 cool and then they'd go in nicely and there you go clear beam saber also you've got the beam javelin which is like a beam saber extension and you just plug this in and this is actually it's clear here but this is actually solid white plastic on the original and then this little spiky part up here is the beam so I think he throws that or swings it uh, it's a javelin so I'm assuming he throws it anyway uh, also you get a little action base connector you get two tiny little clear figures of armor array one in his pilot suit and one in civilian clothing for stickers and decals you get a sticker for the eyes and the two cameras on the head which I just went ahead and painted on mine but you also get a completely new set of uh, water slide decals for this mechanical clear version now they're kinda similar to uh, the ones that come with the original 2.0 kit but you get a lot more of these tiny little warning uh, labels and you get these in gray and white or well, at least these anyway so you get a lot of these little things but you also get a set of metallic um, de water slide decals that don't go on the outside armor but you actually put these on the inner frame and where to go this kit comes with a little pamphlet on how to apply those inner frame decals and it I guess just adds to the mechanical look to the inner frame of the kit and I was actually just planning on doing this all with paint but I already explained in part one that uh, yeah I hadn't gotten around to painting it yet but yeah I just thought this is really nice this is actually the first time I've seen a uh, metallic water slide decal so that was a nice treat anyway we've got a little bit of time left so I'm gonna try my best to squeeze in the core fighter you just take off the top half to RX-78 I forgot to mention these little chest vents also move up and down and inside you've got the core fighter and kind of a semi clear it's got uh, clear parts and gunmetal parts and to transform it you just kind of do this I'm not really struggling because it's hard to transform it's just this clear plastic if you've worked with clear plastic before you know that it tends to be kind of fragile so I'm trying my best to transform this core fighter without breaking it anyway and then the wings fold out and there you go and the cockpit hatch can open up although it's not wanting to do it quite as well as I wanted but it can open up all the way and the little armoro can rock back and forth inside the cockpit it's much easier to show since this is a clear version uh, you've got little missile launchers right here that flip out and you can see those 
the wings actually slide out a little bit more like so but uh, again this clear plastic tends to be kind of fragile so if you do get this kit I will just be really really careful with those and it comes with a little stand to hold the core fighter and kind of like its own little action base so I think that's just about everything I hope I haven't missed anything for this review but uh, this is definitely a really nice kit <clears throat> um, I would recommend the RX-78 2.0 the original version or if you happen to find this kit for a good price I would also re recommend this one I think that uh, it would be lots of fun and to try and figure out what different creative ways of painting a clear kit like this. So that's about it for this review and I'll see you guys next time.